Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your online brother Jasper's deck, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about sleep techniques, and these are my tutorials that will help you get better, calmer, nightmareless, perfect resting sleep. So I hope you are um, relieved to know that there is a solution out there for you to get the perfect sleep. Step one for getting perfect restful sleep is the clothing you wear. You want to make sure that the clothing you're wearing is nice, soft and baggy. You don't want something that would restrict your movement if you are like me. The kind of sleeper that, you know, frankly moves everywhere during your sleep. Step two, ensure that you have both a pillow that is comfortable and a blanket that is soft and feels good on your skin. Perfect. For some of you guys, you will also need a bolster like this. Also ensure that the bedding you're using is comfortable, clean and feels good on your back. There is nothing worse than a bed that doesn't support your back. You need something that supports you. A bed is very much like a romantic partner. If your bed doesn't support you, break up with him. Now, I'm sure that you're really excited to go to sleep. Let's begin with step 3. I'm going to show you the easiest way to get sleep. Ensure that the pillow is on one side like this. Your bolster is at a 90 degree angle either on the left side or the right side of your pillow. And your bed sheet is on the opposite side where your legs would be. Begin to position your head, the back of your head, onto the pillow. It should feel very good. Nice. There are multiple techniques available for you if you want to have a good sleep. The first technique I call looking towards the heavens looks like this. It is a technique in which you position your face towards the sky. There's a second technique available to you guys if you don't want to use looking towards the heavens. This is what you do. You begin by lifting up your right knee like so and putting it at a right angle against the bed. Tilt the knee towards your side. At the same time, rotate your face towards the side like this. I call this technique looking out the window. And if neither of these techniques work for you, there is still a third technique that will definitely help you. First, straighten your legs like this using one hand, which is the hand that is facing the heavens. You're going to push yourself up like this. Your other hand supports as well. And you're going to perform diving into my dreams. That's nice. Of course, you can also use a combination of all these moves. For example, on the top half of your body, you're looking towards the heaven. And on the bottom half of your body, you're performing looking out the window. Very comfortable. Another variation that you could do is you can reach towards the heavens with the bottom half of your body and you can perform looking out the window with the top half of your body. This is what it looks like. Comfortable! And finally, if you want to get a really comfortable sleep, consider using this advanced technique. Top half of the body reaching to the heavens and bottom half of the body diving into my dreams. 
watch. Comfortable. Now I'm sure that you guys would like to learn how to get the perfect sleep and the most relaxing sleep possible to all of humankind. Those tips and tricks normally would cost you $99.99 on Perfect Sleep by jaspers.com but today we're giving away some free tips and tricks that comes from our extreme package hold it by the short end like this step two grab your entire blanket like this step three throw the blanket while clipping onto the ends that you first grabbed just like that you do this put your legs inside lift up and over your body like so fantastic many of you guys probably think that this position is as comfortable as it gets but that's not the case this is merely a lie this being comfortable I spit on that let me show you the proper technique for getting maximum comfort while sleeping. First, we begin by putting your feet underneath the blanket like previously done. Next, instead of just pulling this up like this and just landing on your pillow, what you're going to do is hold this blanket, shoulder widths apart, and slowly come down. Ensure that the blanket is as straight as possible. by doing bicycle kicks like so bam straight blanket perfect while holding on to this blanket at shoulder widths apart you're going to rotate towards the right this is to get the blanket to curl around your body like so rotate back next holding on to the blanket still you're going to rotate to your left like so Once that is done, rotate back. Now let go of the blanket and bring your hands into the blanket. Bam. It's perfect. This is the burrito effect. It feels like you're getting a hug on your entire body all over. I have never felt more, more comfortable in my entire life. It was so comfortable, I fell asleep. Next, I'm going to teach you a different technique. This other technique I learned from a great sleep master in Japan. It's called the sushi technique. If you are the type of person that knows that you move around a lot in your sleep, for example, you raise a hand, you raise another hand, and you have a partner that doesn't enjoy getting hit in the face as much as you do. This is a technique that you can use. First, begin by standing on your bed. And placing your blanket on your bed, like so, flat. Next, lie down perpendicular to your blanket, like this. Hold this here. Using your right hand, hold this to your left shoulder and using your left hand, hold the blanket to your waist. Rotate. And then rotate into place like this. You have now used the sushi technique created by a great Japanese master of sleep. The power of the sushi technique is that you have multiple layers of blanket around you. So even if you wanted to hit someone in the face, right? It is very difficult to do so. See? 
also with the additional layers of blanket over your main torso, it keeps your body very warm. Nice. In the summer, when the weather is very very warm, you might find both of these techniques very uncomfortable. You can try the C technique. So this is how the C technique works. Lift up the right corner of the blanket and do one of these movements. Left hand pushes the right hand like this and you're going to use this part of your hand to pull out a strip of blanket like so. Next, using that strip of blanket, you're going to cover your eyes with it. This will keep out the light. Next, depending on how warm you feel, choose the amount of body exposure you require. I, for example, prefer going about this much. I can feel air blowing across my body, like here. Perfection. I'm going to teach you guys one last technique. And this last technique is one of the best techniques that can be found on our extreme course on Perfect Sleep by Jaspers. Dot com. I'm going to teach you the legendary across the Pacific. Legend has it that in the 1920s, Asian people used this sleep technique to travel all across the world. Let's find out their secrets now. For this sleep technique, what you want to do is first open up your blanket like so. Step onto your blanket, holding on to the left side, like this. Sit in the middle of it, like this, and drape it over your left shoulder, like this. Next, reach for the opposite corner, like so. And you're going to pull it together, like this. Tie a knot. Fantastic. Once more, this time using the opposite corner. Go to the right side like this. And then this corner goes to here. And you're going to tie it up like so. Perfection. This is the ultimate blanket technique. I'm so comfortable right now. Help! Help me! Somebody help! Thank you all for watching this sleep technique tutorial. I hope you learned a lot from it. Please do check out perfectsleepbyjaspers.com if you want to learn advanced bolster techniques. Until next time, I'm online brother Jaspers. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye.